good morning. We're Jacob and Jenny, and today's our last day in Maui. Uh, today we're trying to obviously snorkel um, and catch a few more things uh, and have some more foods before we end our time here. So let's go. The water's really good so far. Yeah. It's a nice, calm day. Ugh. Oh, I kind of have to keep that on though. <laughs> I can't see oh, yeah. at all. <laughs> I homemade fashion some glasses to put in there so I could see it all. It's working so far. <laughs> Our next stop of the day is we're gonna head up to do a distillery tour actually. Uh, but before we get there, we're gonna stop by a few different places to get some local foods on the way. Cause we are starving. <laughs> so one of the local treats here is shave ice, which is like a shave ice with different flavors on it. Um, similar to like a snow cone in New Orleans, we have something called snowballs that's pretty similar. And there's a lot of different flavors that you can get. Um, from like different syrup flavors. Um, ours is a mango passion fruit coconut. Um, so we're able to get several flavors. And this is a medium size, which is pretty big. But looking forward to trying this. It's very small. Mm. The syrup on it tastes like fresh juice. And it's so, so soft. Not like hard ice or crunchy. It's nice and creamy. I don't, I don't think the creamy is from the coconut flavoring, it's just the ice itself. Uh, the way they shave it is just makes it like almost the texture of an ice cream, which is kind of weird because it's not, there's no cream in it. It's just, just shaved ice with flavor syrup on it, but it is very tasty. Brain freeze. Ooh. <laughs> always, always. One of the foods that I've been dying to try since we've been here, and we had a little bit of earlier this weekend, is poke. I love poke. Um, and the way it's served here is just the kind of the meat with some sort of seasoning. So whatever the fish is. Ahi tuna seems to be the most popular. Uh, and so we got two different kinds from Foodland, which is a grocery store, by the way. They had a huge selection. Um, so this one is kind of covered in like crispy onion pieces and then the other one is kind of a more traditional Hawaiian which looks like it has um, some seasoning on it, onions, green onions. I'm gonna give this one a try first. The traditional Hawaiian flavor. Ooh, it's like so tender. Spicy. I wasn't expecting it to be spicy. That might be what some of the like chili flake looking things are on it. Um, but the the fish is like so so fresh. That's some of the like freshest seafood I've ever had. <laughs> that is so good. I can't believe this is grocery store um, seafood. I, it's amazing. So another noteworthy food here is masubi, which is a slice of spam on top of rice, sushi rice, and then it has a seaweed throughout the middle, kind of attaching it all. Um, I believe it came from kind of the like Japanese influence on Hawaiian culture um, and it kind of just looks like a giant sushi roll. 
It does come in other flavors besides Spam, but Spam I think is the most noteworthy one. They also have like egg and bacon I saw. They had a chicken katsu one. Um, so if Spam isn't your thing, then maybe you can find another one that you like. Hmm, that's really good. I think it's probably good if you like Spam or are familiar with Spam, but it basically is just like has a little hint of seaweed, rice, and it's also served warm. So the whole thing is warm and they keep it like, we bought this at a convenience store, so they keep it in kind of one of those um, little heater cabinet things. I could see if you're wanting to get like a quick meal on the go that this is perfect for that. Also very affordable. I think this thing was only two bucks. So the distillery tour that we're going on today is uh, called Hawaii Sea Spirits. We actually saw this distillery in one of the Lonely Planet books that we have um, about cocktails. So we wanted to try to squeeze this into our trip. Uh, and I'm glad we did. We had a little extra time before we have to head home. Um, so we're going to do a distillery tour and hopefully a tasting. So one of the unique things about this distillery is, uh, well, number one, they grow all their own sugar cane right here. So every one of their drinks, the rum, the gin, the vodka, it is all made with the same sugar cane. Um, it's all grown organically and they're real environmentally conscious about uh, kind of everything they do. We had a great time. The vodka was very good. It was very crisp and our, um, but our favorite was the toasted coconut rum. That was really good. It tasted very natural coconut flavors, which I feel is really hard to find in an alcohol. So we had a great time in Maui. Uh, the past four days went by pretty quickly, but we did so much. We'll be exhausted. We'll probably sleep on the plane on the way home. We had uh, just the best time and all the locals were super friendly. So consider coming here as soon as you feel comfortable and safe to do so. We aren't sure where our next trip is. We hope to have one planned soon. And I think that for, this is kind of it for us for all of our Maui tours, but if you haven't seen our other videos, we have a few other places in Maui that we went. And um, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see wherever we end up next. So again, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Aloha!